Listening strategies for the IELTS test. Unit 1. Letters, numbers and numeral relationships. Listening activity number 1. In Britain, when giving or asking for telephone numbers, we don't say thousand, hundred or million. We say each number separately. So 421 6759 is 421 6759. The zero is pronounced O. 081 436 0872 is 081 436 0872. These numbers are in groups. The groups are codes for areas in Britain. When we say the numbers, we pause between the groups. However, when the same number occurs twice, the word double is used with the number. 1994422 is 1994422. Now listen to listening activity number one. Telephoning. Listen to some dialogues between a caller on the phone and a secretary. As you listen, write the telephone numbers and names in the spaces below. Number 1 Is that 4013745? Yes. Can I help you? I'd like to speak to Miss Jones, please. Number 2 Hi, is that 201-6453? Yes. Who do you want to speak to? Helen Parker, please. Number three. Hello, is that 784-9253? Who do you wish to speak to? Dr Robinson, please. Number four. Good morning. Is that 506-6423? Yes. Can I help you? I'd like to speak to Mr. Eggy, please. Number 5. I'm sorry to disturb you, but is that 509-4287? Who do you want to speak to? Jane Casting, please. Listening activity number two. Address. In the UK, the house number is given first and is followed by the name of the street. These two items are written on the same line. Next, the name of the city and county are written and are followed by the postcode and country if you are abroad. Listen to the following short dialogues and fill in the missing information in the space below. 1. My new address is 23A Smithfield Road, Ealing W5, London. My telephone number is 718402146. 2. My sister lives at 27 Greenford Avenue, Nottingham. Her telephone number is 602 Five seven nine five nine four two. Three. My friend Alan lives in London. His address is twenty five St Mary's Road, Ealing, London, W five five RF. His telephone number is seventy one five seven nine five oh seven six. Four. My brother Larry's address is three Greswick Road, Birmingham. His telephone number is 21992-0221. 5. My parents live at 64 Manor Drive, Edinburgh. Their telephone number is 31324-6738. 6. My uncle George lives at 30 Kings Road, Leeds. His telephone number is 
532-837-5029. 7. Mrs. Harper lives at 17 Green Street, Liverpool. Her number is 51 362 8. Mr. Johnson lives at 48 Church Street, Brighton. His telephone number is 273-843-065. Listening activity number three. In Great Britain, the British Council operates a voluntary scheme for the inspection of English language schools. The schools must comply with strict regulations regarding teacher qualifications and school facilities. EF International Language Schools in Cambridge, Hastings and Brighton are recognised as efficient by the British Council and they are members of the Association for Recognised English Language Teaching Establishments in Britain. Here are their addresses. Look at the address list, tick if the information is correct or write in the necessary changes. Number 1 EF Language Schools EF House 1 Farman Street Hove, Brighton, Sussex, BN3, 1AL, Telephone, 723-651, Telex, 877-743. Number 2. EF International School of English. 221 Hills Road, Cambridge, CB2 2RW, Telephone 240 040, Telex 817713. Number 3 EF International School of English, 1 to 2 Sussex Road, Brighton, Sussex. BN two one FJ Telephone five seven one seven eight O Telex nine four O one two O three two Number four EF International School of English seventy four to eighty Warrior Square Hastings East Sussex TN three six BP Telephone four two three double nine eight Telex nine five seven double O five Listening activity number four Listen carefully to a conversation between Alison and Alan. Tick if the information is correct, or write in the necessary changes. Alison and Alan are in London, talking about telephones. I've got to make a phone call. There is a phone box over there. Now, it's uh, 5.30 already. Why don't you make a call later? It's cheaper after 6pm. Is it? Oh, good. I thought it cost the same. I'll wait till I get home then. Where can you find out how much phone calls cost? You can find out at the front of any telephone directory. Ah, I must have a good look. Does it give any other information? Yes, you will get any information you need, such as the weather forecast, gardening information, etc. Good. I'll have a look. How can I arrange an alarm call? My brother's arriving from Paris early tomorrow, and I must get to the airport very early in the morning. Well, you'd better book before 10.30pm the previous evening. That seems simple enough. Actually, I think I'll phone my brother this afternoon. I've got the phone number of his hotel, but what if he isn't in when I phone? It could be expensive, 
and I can't afford to keep phoning all afternoon. Well, you could make a personal call. You can tell the operator your brother's name. Then your message can be left for your brother, and you would not pay any money until you talk to him. Perfect. I'll do that. Thank you, Alan. Listening activity number five. You are going to listen to some names and places. Listen carefully and write down the following names and places. Number one. My name is Barbara Cooper. I'll spell it for you. Barbara, B A R B A R A, Cooper, C O O. P E R. Did you get it? I'm Barbara Cooper. Number two. Do you need my full name? My first name's John. J O H N. Yes, J O H N. And my surname's Murphy. M U R P H Y. Number three. My Christian name is Stephen. Now there are different ways of spelling that, aren't there? Yes, mine's P H. Pardon? You spell it S T E P H E N. Thank you. Number four. Place of birth, please, madam. Adelaide. A D E L A I D E. Would you like me to spell it again? A D E L A I D E. Number five. Hello, I'd like to order a book by Martha Hunt. Hello, it's not a very good line, is it? Martha Hunt, M A R T H A H U N T. That's it. The title of the book is Slight. Number six. Hello. Um, I have a reservation. The name's James. James Black. Number seven. Where do you live? A suburb of London called Greenwich. Gren. No, no. G R E E N W I C H. Greenwich. Number eight. Hello, I have an appointment with Miss Parker. Your name, please. Terry Fisher. That's T E W R Y. Terry. F I S H E R. Fisher. Thank you. Listening activity number six. Listen to the following dialogue. Between an operator and an inquirer. As you listen, write down the type of call, name, and phone number in the spaces below. Long distance, may I help you? Yes, I want to make a person-to-person -person call to Leeds, please. What is the name of the person, please? David Barker. How do you spell that? It's B A R K E R. And what is the number? It's five o two, double seven four five. But I don't have the area code. Just a minute, please. Listening activity number seven. Listen to the following dialogue between an operator and an inquirer. As you listen, write down the name, address, and phone number in the spaces below. Directory inquiries. What city, please? Manchester. I'd like to have the telephone number of Mr. John Abel, please. Yes, ma'am. How do you spell his last name? It's. A B E L, Abel. Thank you.
And could you tell me his address? It's 2418 Greystone Road. The number is 365-9783. 365-9783. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Listening activity number eight. Listen to the following dialogue between an operator and an inquirer. As you listen, write down the name, address and telephone number in the spaces below. Directory Inquiries, what city please? Edinburgh. I want to have the telephone number of Mrs Diana Paxton, please. Yes, ma'am. Could you spell her last name, please? Yes, it's P-A-X-T-O-N. Paxton. Thank you. And her address? 932 Beach Road. Number is 402-3685. 4023685 Thank you very much. You're welcome. Listening activity number 9. You will hear a conversation between a secretary and a stu student. The secretary is asking the student for information in order to complete an application form for a course. As you listen, fill in the appropriate information on the form below. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to enrol for the course. Certainly. What's your surname, please? Williams. Could you spell that for me? Yes, it's W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. Thank you. What's your first name? Peter. That's spelled P-E-T-E-R. Thanks. Where are you from, Mr Williams? Canada. I see. Where do you live now? I live at 9 Crew Street, RC4. And my telephone number is 2342965. Your number is 2342965. Yes, that's right. Thank you. How old are you? 25. Thanks. Listening activity number 10. You will hear a conversation between a secretary and a student. The secretary is asking the student for information in order to complete an application form for a course. As you listen, fill in the appropriate information on the form below. Good morning, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to enrol for the course. Certainly. What's your surname, please? Turnbull. Could you spell that for me? Yes, it's T U R N. B-A-L-L. -L. Thank you. And what's your first name? Jill. That's spelled G-I-L-L. -L. Thanks. Where do you come from, Miss Turnbull? I come from Australia. I see. Where do you live now? Now I live with my sister. Her, her address is 32 Broadway, SE23. The telephone number is 207-3346. Thank you. And how old are you? 23. Thank you. Listening activity number 11. You will hear a conversation between a secretary and a student. The secretary is asking the student for information in order to complete an application form for a course. As you listen, Fill in the appropriate information on the form below. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to enrol for the English short training course. Certainly. What's your surname, please? Potters. Could you spell that for me? Yes, it's P-O-T-T-E-R-S. Thank you. And what's your first name? Mike. That's spelled M-I-K-E. Thank you. Where are you from? The United States. I see. How old are you? 27. Good. Where do you live now? I live at 45 Hardcourt Lane, E24. I see. And do you have a telephone number? Yes. It's 365-3241. Thanks.
Listening activity number 12a. Listen to some short dialogues. In each dialogue, you will hear someone ask a question about the time. When the answer is given, write down the time in the space below. Number one. Excuse me, can you tell me the time, please? Yes, it's quarter to three. Number two. Do you have the right time, please? I think it's twenty past five. Number three. Do you know what time the next bus is, please? Yes, it's half past seven. Number four. What time do you finish your work today? Twenty past six. Number five. When do the shops open, please? At eight o'clock. Number six. What time does the London train leave, please? Twelve thirty. Number seven. What's the next train to Birmingham, please? Eleven five. Number eight. Excuse me, please. What time does the Liverpool train arrive? Seventeen forty. Number nine. When does the Paris flight leave, please? Twenty-two fifty. Number ten. What time's the next flight to Amsterdam, please? Fifteen thirty. Listening activity number twelve B. You will hear a dialogue. As you listen, fill in the form below. Have you got your timetable? Yes, I have. When do we have Dr. Kent's lecture? Monday morning at nine thirty, and then at eleven thirty. Um, also Friday morning at ten thirty. And how long do they last? An hour. Which rooms are they in? The Monday morning lectures take place in room fifty. The Friday morning one is in room fifteen. Listening activity number thirteen. You will hear some announcements from railway stations and airports. These announcements give information to travellers about trains and planes. For each announcement that you hear, write in the box below the platform number, flight number, time, and destination. One. The train now standing at platform four. Is the thirteen thirty to Cambridge? Two. The express train to Birmingham is now due in on platform two at fourteen twenty. Three. The next train to arrive at platform three is the sixteen forty to Liverpool. Four. The next train to London will depart from platform one at seven thirty. Five. British Rail apologizes for the delay to Leeds. It will now depart at nine ten from platform five. Six. The next train to Oxford will depart from platform two at ten thirty. Seven. The train now standing at platform five is the eleven o five to Leeds. Eight. British Rail apologizes for the delay to the Manchester train. It will now depart at eleven thirty from platform three. Nine. British Airways announces the departure of flight B A two o seven at eight thirty to Paris. Ten. Olympic Airways flight O A five three five for Athens. Will depart at twelve o five. Eleven. British Airways' next flight to Belfast is flight B A nine six five at twelve o'clock. Number twelve. S A S flight S K five o six to Stockholm will depart at seventeen fifteen. Thirteen. 
British Airways announces the departure of flight BA205 at 9.30 to Dublin. 14. British Airways next flight to Paris is flight BA305 at 11.30. 15. Olympic Airways next flight to Athens is flight OA593 at 14.40. 16. British Airways flight BA707 for Edinburgh will depart at 15.05.